they will cast out devils. They will have the gift of tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands. And be unharmed should they drink deadly poison. They will lay their hands on the sick who will recover. And so the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven. There at the right hand of God, he took his place while they, going out, preaching everywhere, the Lord walking with them and confirming the word by the signs that accompanied it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks God for giving me uh, His presence. Thanks God for giving me His life. Thanks God for giving me this uh, beautiful priesthood. I was ordained twenty fifth. April 1999 at Rome by St. John Paul II. Today I have no word except thank you to all, in particular to my mom and dad, my parents. My father is in heaven. My mom is still in South Korea. And also I want to say thank you to my brothers in a seminary in Rome. My colleague, my friend ordained together with me. I'm sure at this moment all of the world they are celebrating together at this moment praising to God for this anniversary 21 years ago we were ordained together I want to say thank you to my uh, fathers especially Father, the spiritual father, director, or confessor, many other friends, as well as uh, I want to thank you, even though not here at this moment, our lovely parishioner, St. Hugh and St. James. Thank you to all, as well as uh, I want to say thank you to my colleague. Those who are working with me within the diocese of Leicester here. All my colleagues and also uh, SSC friends, Anglo Catholic uh, people too within the Church of England. Thank you to all with uh, all my heart. God bless you. And you are all so lovely in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, he will be composed the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we venerate the glory of Saint Mark, we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of praise and humble.
humbly beseech you that your church may always persevere in the preaching of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand upon an apostolic foundation, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages of ending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, O your Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift to be prayed by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may be composed, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered the willing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor to the
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May this meaning of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandment, and never let me depart from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Thanks to God, have a mercy on us. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Let us pray. Grant me, pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel which St. Mark proclaimed. Through Christ 